Did okay. It help if I said please? Okay, okay, I my bad. On three, my bad. Two, one. I'm not gonna lie, that kid is pretty strong. I know she could go into the gym. I'm kind of okay. jealous. I want to know what's her workout routine. We need to keep moving. This way. You dead, Nikki? Whoa. Stay close. I knew there was something wrong about that church ship. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Oh, yo, this place is about to explode. Oh, man. This is bad. Just give so me a sec. On. No, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on. You clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. You sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge. Whoa! Ah! Oh my gosh! You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I almost crapped myself, okay. but okay. This way. Should we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door. <laughs> Jump! Oh no. Are you me? Relax, you're fine. Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not too much or anything. Almost there. Kid, let me go, please. I wanna help. Yes. Damn. Here. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, Thank listen, you. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So, what's the good news? They're not dead. Come wow, we'll that is here. dirty. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we Take try that? using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Easy, does it? Okay, yeah, let's see? run. Who knows how no long that's going to hold? Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. You mean not too many Is to count, that possibly? Robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it. I, um, I know all the bots down here. <laughs> They're kind of my friends, I guess. Oh I, my god, you have no friends? Them. Gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Different personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. Okay. I'm Does your following mom you. know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. What? It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom uh, died. I didn't know my dad. Damn, Pete, you really are strong as hell. I want to know what's your weight. Your How weight. How do you know my mom exactly? Uh, Regiment. We fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling, mm. and bossy. And judgmental? You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. I love how Nikki and Pete are interacting with each other. She this seems like a really good kid. Your mom's ship. I really need to know because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Just, just promise you Whoa, won't tell anyone this about this. Wow, this is nice. Oh, wow. Hey, 
Hey, hey, look at this. This is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. This is so dope. Honestly. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. So that this means I'm a pirate too, because I like to raid. Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Wait, she says she's could, she could do a better job than this? Holy cow, she's amazing. These drawings are phenomenal. I love it. It's cute. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. What's in here? Secret stuff. Off oh, limits. I'm no sorry. Adults. I get it. Anyway, My bad. I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No. I mean, Thanks, but ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw okay. my passkey! You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? Whoa, the mom's Everything's there. Aww, she was just worried about you. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Give the Make kid sure the leeway. Fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? Mm. With me. Damn. Let's go. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She, she did. She herself really well. You have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. What? Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarter. I mean... Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom. <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! What is wrong with you? Bad timing? She was a lovely person. Someone, please get me out of here. You I'm causing a distraction. Tell me what I want to know. Oh, come on, man. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security. 
or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors. Stop. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Yeah, she Too handled smart. her she keeps herself. bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nick, collect gold. Empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Yeah. Not like feelings, feelings. More like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. It was a lot of feelings to build up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Okay. Sorry. Look, Mom. I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, lockdown. Lockdown, disengage. Ooh. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But 30 Mom, rotations? 30 How long cycles. is that? Ooh. <sighs> Damn. That was a nice save. Like, honestly, though, the kid did a good job with making sure so both of us got day, out, man. so. Shuttles, she obviously wants to be just like her mom, too, so. Missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. Hey, that's the same him. one from earlier in the series. I believe he survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Is she mine? Years ago, when we. Peter, is she mine? Is that my kid? When we picked up your ship. Part of me was excited. Okay. At first. Mm. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me th three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 8,000 units in mm. three cycles. Mm. Wow, okay, that is a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. Damn. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Oh, wow. Look at you. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever? You won't regret it. Please, handcuffs off. I'll behave, I promise. Thank you. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five. Three. Got it. Contact me when you've got the units. Cool. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Damn. Gotcha. We won't let you down. Wow, and we're free. We're off. Hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 to... units? That yeah. That's a tremendous sum. Where are we going to get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. 
Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. I just love this Rocky, pep talk. you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven? Seven? You are great. Damn. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I'm a free man for now. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it. Now there ain't nothing to fetch. I'm Ooh, done. Your stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the Das Quarantine Zone access code. Peter Quill, tell yes. the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Tension is on a all-time high right now. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree. Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Drax is over here harassing Our everyone. Clearly stashed his illicit units in there. What is this? You want how much for these things? When I said matching gold costumes, I meant gold colored, not actual crew tacking gold. We want potential clients to think we've got wealth, not wear it right on our sleeves. That makes us a target. Here's the deal. When the time's right, we'll give these costumes a test run. If they survive it without any holes, I'll set up with you at, say, 6% of what you're asking. Best I can do. I am watching you, tree. I am trying to search for any little thing, honestly. Open the door, please. What's this? Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Who? Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was bluebird, and I was the kid. <laughs> Don't judge me. It's a cool nickname. Let me get this straight. Yandu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? Yeah. <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. What should I pick? Huh. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The That's Shikari right. have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. 
But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I'd been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. All right, so the next one right here. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Damn. Yonder said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out... He could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. Bendito. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. I just love how she was just busting through my do door well, earlier. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. So that's what the money looks really? like? Really? It's definitely not 8,000, that's for sure. 37 units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine Zone was always there. Holding out my on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice. System. Guys! Let's just hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. It shatters the bones of all who go after it. The skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. Damn. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death. Out of the question. Uh, I want to get paid, In that bro. Case, You're not selling my stuff. I am Groot. I am Groot. Wow, Groot, speak the truth. Speak the he truth, says buddy. We should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fim Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah. Wow, he's pissed. You want monster? I'll show you monster. Whoa, guys. Stop, Rocket. Come on. Don't have to be such a hot-tempered little Kurt, thing. Are you really offering to? No, no, he is not offering that. Okay. It could work. Sell so, Groot. I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. What? Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. 
monster queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote oh, we sell Groot. Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? I don't want to sew anyone. Uh, Rocket doesn't want to sew Gru because I know he's so protective of him. But then again, Rocket is a, a wildfire. Uh, he's gonna hate me. Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Group, buddy. First of all, thank you. And second of all, I'm I want sorry. you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Supposedly, quote unquote. Damn, the fact that I have to sell one of my crewmates. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf Nine are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's really? not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Oh no. Oh no. Lightning too? This is really intense. But not as intense there. as selling my crew. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Oh shit, I almost got hit. Flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one. I'm just trying to make sure we actually Trust land me. someplace safely. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> he can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. How far away is a hundred clicks, though? I want to know. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does. <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Okay, so let me see what upgrades I can do. Huh. Gun, suit. You know what? Let me see. I'm gonna do... Uh, what should I do? Hold on. You know what? I'm not going to do anything. Huh? Yeah. All right, let's go. I feel so bad that I have to sell out group, but we need the money. Of course. It had to be raining. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Wow, Drax, you really gotta go and kick me while I'm down, huh? Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Damn, everyone is really up on my ass. I hate wet. Oh, because of the weather. All right, you guys, well, I'm ready to go. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.